what is going on out there peeps alrighty so I did a video in which I let everybody know that while hanging out at the bars having general conversations with people and the gentleman next to me very sharp looking guy conversation came up about civil courts and yeah as the conversation continued I found out this guy was a Jake member I said whoa it hit me like a ton of bricks I said wait a minute I have some questions for you and I just asked them some questions what I wanted to know was can Americans be sent to get mo and try through tribunals technically according to our constitution no but there are some exceptions and he cleared those up which I thought was interesting because one of the situations I was thinking to myself they should go to Gitmo for this one which is the pedophilia one no they would go through a civil court and they would be protected by the constitution so that was disappointing but he went on to explain when it is that you can be as an American citizen sent to Gitmo or any other military brig in which you're being sent through a tribunal there's a lot of laws playing into place here you have the uniform code of military justice you have the law of war conflict and then you have a constitutional law so there are a lot of different circumstances that play into whether or not you go to a tribunal or you are in the civil court and your constitution is intact now even if you're sent to a tribunal and you're labeled an enemy combatant that does not mean automatically you lose your constitutional rights you can appeal that label and I thought yeah okay well if that government is calling you an enemy combatant with the way the courts are these days I think you would have a hard time having that overturned and you know you just kind of smiled and agreed but let's just say you go to a military brig you're getting ready for a tribunal you appeal the label of enemy combatant and you win then you're sent through the regular court system and you have your constitutional rights there there's there's a lot of gray area there we spoke briefly about the two court cases two Americans were actually fighting for the terrorist groups both of them went up before the Supreme Court because they were American citizens and they were fighting whether or not they could be tried through a tribunal the problem was the Supreme Court would not rule on it no not once but twice to kick it down to the lower court as I didn't think they want to get involved you see the problem with our country is this if the courts do what they're supposed to do and let's just say they go you know what these people are American citizens they're protected by the Constitution well then they catch a crap load of backlash and they're going to be labeled terrorist sympathizers it's just messed up that a courts instead of doing what they're supposed to do and rule according to the law they're too worried about their image and what people think of them unfortunately Unfortunately before the two cases even went back to the Supreme Court because they were heading that way both men were let go so the Supreme Court never actually had a rule on there now depending on who is in the White House makes a difference as well like the gentleman said you know the definition of enemy combatant changes with each administration so Bush had one definition but Obama changed that definition when he got into power as a matter of fact he said just do away with the label of enemy combatant altogether and then when Trump got into office he brought it back up again so you know that the thing is the president should not be passing laws without them being voted on and that's what Bush did when he said hey these people were labeled enemy combatants but nobody would fuss with them back then because we just got hit during 9-11. So it's a little bit different but let's go over you guys comments and questions in there and let me see if I can answer them to the best of my ability before we get started hit the thumbs up button and if you're not a subscriber please do so because when you do it helps out the channel and you know I appreciate it oh right now is a great time to buy the shine that's right go buy gold and silver with our friends over that money metals exchange the link is down below in the description if you are a first time buyer and you spend more than a